Yo, what's up, Trey Trees? I'm here with Mikey T on the Report Card Radio. You already know what it is, man. Get tuned in. Yep, it's that Canadian connection. That Canadian fire, man. That's what's up, man. It's Mikey T, the movie star here, Report Card Radio. What's good? I'm with Trey Trees. What's going on, man? What's going on? Thank you for having me. Nah, for Appreciate sure, man. That. Appreciate the good luck. Yeah, for sure, yo. First of all, can you introduce yourself to the Report Card Radio audience? Trey Trees, T R E T R W E Z. Or should I say Z? You say Z, you say Z out there, right? Yeah, we do. We do, but you guys you guys got a different <laughs> slang with it. We you know, we got a lot of we got a lot of Jamaican we got a lot of Jamaican influence out here from Connecticut to New York though All as right. well. You know, plus That's I was in Miami. Up. That's what's up, Jamaica. Yo, we Jamaican though everywhere, man. So bro, uh, what was it that got you involved in the music scene in the first place? I've always loved music, man. I grew up listening to music, man. So, you know, I guess just just, just, just loving it, man. Just loving music. I just always loved music. So I just always had a passion to write. So I've always, you know, wrote. Yep, yep. So you love music. You love trees. And, and speaking of that, where did the name come from? Like, And when did you decide to actually take music serious? Um... The name, the name came from just because obviously I smoke a lot of trees, you know, and uh, my name's actually Trey, short, right? So I guess that's where it came from. And um, I actually really started taking, I, I, I've been writing for a while, man. I've probably been writing since probably like, fuck, who knows, 10 years old, man. I probably wrote my first little my page but at first i would i would honestly i would copy not his lyrics you know i would write down i would listen to his his songs and i would write down what he said you know so i kind of would practice how to write bars you know and get the flow right so i kind of i kind of know like all not this song word for word when i swear it's crazy <laughs> it was written it was written it, that shit started Damn, that's Before what's that, up. But I mean, that's when he put the lyrics out, so it was more easier. I didn't even have to write nothing. <laughs> Damn, that's interesting to hear. So I'm gonna actually ask you, I'm gonna ask you about some of your other influences in the game. Who else influenced you from the, you know, the hip hop scene? Honestly, my first, first ever, probably one of my first albums I could say was Snoop Dogg, man, Doggy Style. My grandma heard that. She came in, took the tape, and threw it. She said, don't ever, <laughs> don't ever play this shit in here again. It's crazy. So maybe that's why I cuss a lot, you know, because a lot of people say I curse a lot, you know, in my in my lyrics. I got a lot of fuck, or, you know. But I mean, it, it, it came from there probably here. And put your motherfucking hand in the air if you don't get <laughs> you, you know, so it's crazy. That's tight, yeah, that's man. That's one of my first, one of my first, um, one of the first albums I, I, I definitely rocked to a Snoop Doggy style. Those are a couple dope influences, man. You know, Snoop Dogg, Nas. So, what direction have you taken with your rap career? What do you mean? Like, uh, how, what, how did you decide to, uh, you know, start putting your music out there to the world? What style did you want to show the world that you were bringing? Like, what was it about yourself that you wanted to show the people? What style was just basically just, um, I don't know, a side of, I guess, a side of a fucking Toronto kid coming up, Canadian, Canadian kid, I guess, wanted to show we could rap too. There's something all here, I guess, you know, but, um. It was just, I, I, I don't even really know, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm just a writer, you know, and I guess fucking the more outlets that came out, it was more easier to, to make it a reality, you know, because honestly, it wasn't a reality coming out where I'm coming from when you're seeing Jay-Z and Snoop Dogg and the Nas and all these American rappers, we, you don't see it like that, you know what I mean, but that shit changed. So, you know, I guess with the, with the YouTube and, you know, everything like that, where you can do it yourself, 
so with more reality, I guess, I just start taking it more serious, you know? I do it more for myself. I'm independent. I do everything on my own, right? And, like, I got this big promo marketing team. That's all I mean, man. I do everything direct. I have the visuals, you know, the artwork. I get, you know, here and there, holler at a couple of people, and that's it. But it's all me for the most part, you know what I mean? Give so, me uh, give me an idea of what it's like growing up in Canada. Growing up in Canada, it's it's the same as any, any other hood, man. We got everything, the same bullshit. You know, same fucking drugs, same violence, same poverty. You know, we have it all, man, like any other state. People look at Canada and think it's all cold and it goes, but no, we have we we have some nastiness that goes on, you know. I don't know why everyone wants to glorify that, right? To make to make you know, people stand up they're like, Oh, we have bad areas too, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. There are bad areas everywhere. You know what I mean? Obviously, America has a bigger population, so there's going to be way more whatever, you know? You go to a block in New York, there's like 50, 50 men. You go out in Toronto, it's like probably like 20. You know what I mean? Maybe less. Depending yeah, I'm hearing on, you. you know? I'm hearing you, bro. So, so the population is, is definitely different. So that's first and foremost. You know, how has uh, Tory Lanez and Drake blowing up changed the outlook for artists looking to get involved in the music scene? That made it, that made a good look. It's a good look. Anybody blowing up from Canada actually, you know, opens up more doors, makes people look at us. Like I said, it's, there's lots of talent, lots of lots of talent in Toronto. In Canada too, but lots of talent in Toronto. It's just that we don't got that outlook, you know what I mean? But, I mean, now we do, so yep. there should be, you know, a lot of artists coming out and emerging. We just need the belief, <laughs> yep. you know? You can't can't say we're corny. A lot of Americans, you know, Americans still shit on Canada, you know? It's like, fuck Canada or Canada this and that, or, you know, we try to be American. But at the end of the day, we're all in the same, you know, in the same place, pretty much. It's only one little border.